Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am trying some new makeup products that I just got from my Ulta haul. So I'm going through and just trying out the different products on my face, kind of like a mini first impressions. So I hope that you guys have fun watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Okay y'all, so I already have my face done. I have my primer, foundation, and concealer on. So the first new product I am trying is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. So I'm going to be using this really nice kind of like banana powder shade right here to set my eyelids as well as underneath my eyes. I'm super excited to try this palette because I've been wanting to try a different contour palette. I'm like obsessed with the Anastasia one. Um, and I don't know, just nothing that I've swatched in the store has lived up to that until now. So hopefully it will go well. And of course I'll kind of give you guys a rundown at the very end of the video to kind of see how things wear as the video goes on. But so far I'm liking the tint of the banana powder. It's not too yellow. And it seems to be setting everything really nice and smooth. If you guys have a chance to swatch this in the store, I definitely recommend it. It is the softest face powders that I have ever felt in my entire life, especially for pressed powders. So y'all have to try it out. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. First impression, it's not making it settle into my fine lines or anything. It's sitting nice on top of my concealer. I'm also going to set other areas of my face where I'm going to go in with powder products later on. And my chin and my nose and a little bit of my forehead tend to get more oily throughout the day, so I'm going to set those as well. And it seems to be looking pretty nice. It's not breaking up my foundation or anything like that. So that is a plus. One thing I noticed with this palette is that there isn't a lot of kickback to that yellow powder as well, which is really nice because a lot of the times whenever you get a lot of kickback in your palettes, then you end up wasting more product than if the palette doesn't have a lot of kickback. So that's something that is also really, really nice. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm just going to take this little light, little, I don't know where I was going with that. This light contour shade right here, and I'm going to apply that directly into my crease. I don't want to use too many powder products in my, or on my eyes today. Um, I just want it to be nice and light because I am using a new glitter that I have. So I'm just applying this directly into my crease just to give my crease a little tiny bit of a shadow and it looks really smooth. It's blending out beautifully. I really like it. Okay, so now that I have that part done, I zoomed you guys in so you can see what I'm going to be doing next. So I'm going in with my Stila eye glitter thing. These are super popular on social media, but this is the rose gold retro color. So I'm going to be applying this all over the lid. I'm really, really excited about this one. Oh my God. Wow, that is so pretty. So I'm just pushing it right up against my lash line and then I'm going to slowly kind of just move my way up. That is so pretty, you guys. So I'm just kind of like carving out and then I'm going to apply a little bit more and then blend it out with a little brush. Okay, so I'm just going to be using a really small blending brush that has kind of more of like a pointed tip just to kind of buff it out. It seems to work pretty well with the brush. Okay, so I don't notice any fallout underneath my eye or anything like that. It blends out really nicely with another brush, so that's really nice as well. And we'll see how it dries, and it doesn't really have like a lot of transfer. I'm not noticing anything like I'm able to blink, and it's not like transferring 
onto my upper lid or anything like that. So that's good. Okay, so now that the eyes are all blended out, I'm going to take a little bit of this vanilla shade right here. This is called Halo, and I'm going to apply that right underneath my brow bone as a brow bone highlight. I love doing this with matte shades, and I just feel like, I say this a lot, but I really do feel like it just cleans up the eyes because sometimes we'll get a little bit of residue um, from our eyeshadow powders up in this area. And it just really makes it look nice and clean. God, this powder is seriously so smooth, you guys. It's beautiful. So now, just to finish off the eyes before I try my new mascara, I'm taking the eyeliner by ColourPop in the shade Honey Dude. And I'm going to apply this to my waterline just to open up the eyes even more. Anytime I have some sort of like red tint or pink tint to my eyeshadow, I really like to use a flesh-toned or like a white um, eye liner in my waterline so that it doesn't make the rim of my eye look like I'm sick. So that's just a little trick anytime you're using kind of more of like those pinky tones on your eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to be using the mascara that I purchased. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, the False Lash Effect. So it comes in this really cute little tube. I really, oh, <laughs> I already curled my eyelashes. So we'll go ahead and see what this is like. I really like the um, end of it. It looks really nice. So hopefully it looks good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so I'm liking this. This is going very well so far. It's separating the lashes very nicely. It's also adding a lot of length and volume and texture to the lashes, which is exactly what I am looking for in my mascara. And it's not clumping. Like you can definitely tell that I have product on my lashes, but it's not like clumping them together. It's definitely separating them out, which is so nice. So that is what the mascara looks like. This one doesn't have any mascara on it. Now I'm gonna give a shot with the lower lashes and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the lower lashes done as well. This is just one coat. I haven't added any other coats to it and it is so stunning and beautiful. It definitely separates out the lashes. Like I was saying, and it adds a lot of volume and texture to it. So I really like it so far and hopefully it doesn't have any, well, it doesn't have any transfer even though it's a pretty wet formula, but I'm really hoping that it doesn't like flake off or anything like that. So I'll keep you guys posted throughout the video for that. Okay, so the eyes are done. Now I'm going to finish off the face using the contour palette. So I'm going to take Princess Cut, which is the shade right here. It's definitely what I would say is probably the lightest contour shade in the palette. And I am taking my Morphe M178 contour brush. At least that's what I use it for. So I want it to be a nice and chiseled contour look today. So we'll see how it goes. So it's blending out really nicely and it's got really great pigment to it. It's not, it's not so pigmented to where like you would be afraid to dip your brush into it, but it's got just enough to where it's the perfect amount. <laughs> now I'm going to take an angled brush and just apply a little tiny bit of that contour color to the temples of my forehead. It's just just going to warm up the face a little bit more. So this contour blends out so nicely. I'm loving it. A little bit on the chin area. So it looks really nice, super natural. And I have definitely more of like, like a yellow undertone to my skin, so. That's kind of what it looks like on a yellow undertone for skin. For my blush, I'm just going in with one of my old palettes. This is the Tarte Bling It On palette. I'm going to be using the shade right here. It's called Beaming. It has a little tiny bit of gold reflex in it, which I think is perfect for this makeup look since we are working with glitter. If you guys can see, it just gives a really nice sheen to the cheeks. 
Okay, so for my favorite part that I'm super excited about, I'm going to be taking my sleek makeup um, highlighting palette and I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here, the lavender shade and then the kind of like pinky champagne shade to highlight my cheeks. I actually tried this on camera during my most recent Ulta haul and I almost died right there. Like it is so freaking gorgeous. So I'll show you guys what it looks like if my hair will get out of the way. All right, you ready for this? Brace yourself. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Oh my God. So pretty, like so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna apply just a little bit to the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. This highlight, y'all, I like cannot handle it. It is so freaking pretty. Like it really just is so pretty. Okay, y'all, so that concludes this video. Um, honestly, I don't hate anything. Like I love every single thing that I have put on my face today that is new to me. I just feel like the highlight is obviously super gorgeous. The Stila Glitter Eyeshadow is amazing. The Tarte Palette was perfect. The uh, Mascara from Essence was amazing. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I just keep lucking out with getting such amazing products, probably because I hunt down reviews like crazy. So I'm really excited about this. And yeah, so I hope that you guys had fun watching this trying new makeup video. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up for me as well as subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.